XDX 54. Better, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Lee. You saw in the first couple clips we were down there at Lee's Mowers, Franklin, Kentucky. Now it's not me; it's another Lee. But anyway, so got Wes over here. We went and picked up Hustler XDX. I had to read it. XDX Huck Raptor. This is 2023. Has zero hours on it. So we're just going to kind of take a look at it, see what it looks hey, like. Hey, if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. First thing before I forget, when they ship these things, that foot pedal's turn the opposite direction. If you were to buy one, make sure it's facing the right way because they all, if we just about got home with it, turned the other way, we probably never would have figured it out. He's got a 54 inch deck. Wes, you know how thick this deck is, what gauge it is. 11. 11 gauge. 11 gauge deck is pretty heavy whatever it is 11 gauge deck now this foot plate right here will come up you got to take that bolt out and you can access your pulleys so we're not going to do that uh got 22 inch tires on the back now lucky we got a kawasaki which you know this is a a great mower everybody knows kawasaki's good 23 horsepower you don't say it on here anymore like uh, they, they're changing it to where you can't see the horsepower 23 horsepower with the blades engaged right? with the blades engaged that's different so it's really probably even more than that yeah the guy down there told us that you got one gas tank here and it's probably four gallons three or four gallons, three gallons. now look at that battery now the guy down there at the dealership said this is the way to go uh these actually last better than your traditional lawn batteries now i don't know about that but uh we will find out but i don't know yeah the the, the cost of it is um less than your traditional mower battery so that is probably a thing of the future coming up like i said a 54 inch deck uh so you know you push your foot down on this you got a, that's your locking mechanism for your deck. It's of course locked on the all the way up because we pulled it on the trailer. Of course, you just move this pin around to set your height. I'm backwards here, but you can see the idea of how high you want to raise your deck. I already got the shoot up zero hours. Now, right here is your um, control panel. I mean, it's your typical uh, choke throttle PTO switch. Got a nice seat on it right here. So, you know, this is brand new. So this is how you change the oil right here. We got a little hose. So you put a 10 millimeter on this, put your hose right here and run it down to a pan somewhere and change it. So we need to change this at 10 hours. Uh, this is break in. Like I say, right there's zero hours on it. So at 10 hours, we're gonna put new filter and oil in it. And down here, I don't know if you can see it, the hydros. Uh, there's filters under there. I think it's under these little black things here, but that needs to be at 50 hours. So those are your belt, two different hydros. And after you change it after 50 hours on the hydros, I think he said it'd go 250 hours or so before you have to do that again. There's one thing I, that I noticed on this is it, it's got fans. Right okay, on top yeah. Of the hydros. Yep. It'll help keep those hydros. Cooling cool. fans on the hydros. Always make sure the grass is off them because that's what cools them. If, if it ever gets plugged up or a blade breaks on that, and your hydro start getting hot. You just lost a couple thousand dollars probably of hydro cooling fans. So over time, Wes is going to get some accessories. What are you getting? Uh, you getting a hitch? Got a hitch kit. Got a high lift deck kit. That just helps you raise the deck. Well, is that well, what it that's does? Inside the deck. Oh, okay. It makes your blade it sucks the uh, grass up. Helps okay. Yep. Uh, there's also a deck lift kit. That deck is really heavy, so there's you a, really got to push on it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a spring that goes uh, somewhere over in here, I believe, uh, that'll help help with that lifting. Um, so it assists with the lifting. Uh, 
bought a uh, essentially it's an aftermarket uh, striping kit. Is that bolt on the back or is that on the deck or on the back or what's that go? Bolt on the back. So oh, it's the rolling kind, right? Yeah, it'll attach right here on the frame on each side, and then it'll be behind here, so it'll roll. So we might get video of that in coming months when it comes in. And then uh, also too that uh, shoot. Uh, oh, shoot block, uh, shoot blocker, blocker yeah. so you don't get grass in your mulch and all that. Um. So it's a 10 gauge steel deck. We just looked in the specs. Mm -hmm. yep. So that's better than 11, right? Yep. By one. By one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. It attracted me most to this. One I thought was a lot of mower for the money. Uh, so there, there's just a lot here. Uh, but my grass is extremely thick. And so uh, my, my previous mower, I uh, had a 54-inch deck, 26 horsepower uh, motor, but it was always bogging down. And so I needed something with a really good blade speed. And the 54-inch deck on this mower had the fastest blade speed. Uh, it was 18 9, I think, was the was the measure on that. So uh, I, I thought that was interesting. But that's that's one reason why I settled on the 54 uh, versus a 60 or even a 48 uh, was was because the blade speed was so much faster on this this size deck as opposed to the other. So you're getting a lot of higher RPM at the blades yep. and you're really going to throw the grass out compared to your old one. Yeah. By the way, his old one is what I got. My Husqvarna. So, um, I'm going to fire that thing up and see what it does. So this is a carbureted engine. Because some of those commercial newer ones are not carbureted. Wes has a nice yard. Twenty-two inch tires. If I had to guess, I'd say seven mile an hour. So this is ending the video. Wes is going to drive off into the sunset, and that'll be the end of the video. See, look at that yard. He's got irrigation, so he's kind of cheating compared to the rest of us. No, he's got a nice place there. Hey guys, so that's it. I'm going to load up my trailer, go down the road, but I want to show that to you. All right, I'm out.